I wear a size 44 triple D. So obviously I'm not in the itty bitty committee. My boobs are heavy and I often like do this. And when I need to do this, but it's hard cause I'm just, I'm dragging a wagon, okay? Okay, I got bajungas, you got titties, okay. okay. So, have you ever thought about having a breast reduction? No, I don't want to. Okay. The reason why I bring this up is because if we can get you back, right, we can almost automatically help create some of the tension off the neck and the shoulders. But if we're not willing to have a reduction, that's okay. But I need to know where your headspace is at so I know how to fix it outside of that. Imagine putting a 10-pound sack of potatoes and walking around all day with that. You're not gonna be happy and neither is your neck. All that weight is gonna push the neck forward and over time, it can actually create that hump in the back of the neck. Ever seen a chiropractor? Never in our life. I was actually discouraged to come see a chiropractor by my doctor. You know what? <laughs> um, I probably hear that more than you could possibly imagine. Well, they did scare me when they said that people sometimes have strokes after visiting a chiropractor. And I was like, I don't want to have a stroke. Okay. There are good doctors and there are bad doctors. That is true. And you are in good hands. Yes, I am going to do the cracking and the popping and the <laughs> adjusting that we all talk about. So, yeah, you're going to feel those sensations. I am going to examine your spine. I'm going to take a look at everything from top to bottom. And I'm going to ask for your permission every step of the way. I love this consent game. <laughs> <laughs> I felt very comfortable with her. I felt like she cared about me. I felt seen. I'm excited to know that I could be put in the right position. She can help me with my shoulders. As a result of the larger boobs, you're forward stooping here, right? So mm -hmm. I have this forward motion. I'm going to over-exaggerate for you. And you're getting this hump in the back here, OK? Mm. This becomes more of the chronic problem, because if this continues, right, this hump that we have right here mm -hmm. is going to get bigger. And no. I know that you don't want to be 80 with some big hump in your back, no. right? The reason why we got to start promoting this good posture is because as I do that, you almost automatically see that hump decrease. Go back to your forward motion again. See the hump? Go back to good posture. No hump. 